today's video, I'm going to show you the biggest mistake beginners make with their forms in WordPress. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you an interesting solution I tried, which came from a comment on another video I had made. Every modern page builder like Elementor, Breakdance, and Bricks has begun to add contact form functionality right into core. And this is fantastic because it removes the need for a paid or, or another contact form plugin. The problem with this is that the, by design, the way these work is that they embed a copy of the form right into the page. And this is a massive headache when you come back to it later and need to make changes to your forms. So imagine if a customer calls back after you've built the website and they say they want to add a field to the form or they want to change where the notification sends when the form is submitted. You're now left to go through every page of the website, search every page to find the forms and then edit it in the builder, make the change, save it. And so you have to do this multiple times everywhere the form is embedded and this is just prone to error and ultimately an unhappy customer. So in Elementor, the solution to this centralizing management of your forms is to use something like Gravity Forms. But if you do that, you also need to get Ultimate Add-ons, which is another premium add-on, or you can use WS Forms, but you need to use WS Forms Pro so that you get the Elementor widget that you need to style WS Forms with in the builder. So I tried a thing in Elementor so that I could use the free built-in forms, but first I wanted to let you know that I have built a Bricks Builder Blueprint that uses automatic CSS and frames. And if you are wanting help to kickstart using WordPress with that page builder, you can download that blueprint from the link description of this video. So a user had commented a suggestion on another video I had made about using a reusable component, embedding the, uh, the form inside it, and then using it to centralize the management of an Elementor form instead of like going through each page to find where changes were made. And I decided to try it out. So if I import a Elementor template with a contact form in it and save this as a template, I am going to go to the template and make some changes to see what happens. So we we'll name this contact form and hit save. And then what I'm going to do is uh, delete this here and import the template I made and insert it instead of using the actual initial layout I had. So now we have a contact form saved template that is embedded on this page called form one. And the question is whether I can go back to the save template, make a change to it and have it replicate everywhere on the site. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to go ahead and add a field. Uh, let's, we're going to do a text area field and we're going to call it message. Call the placeholder your message. So we're going to publish this change in our save template, which is embedded on, on form one. So the question is whether this will update. And when we refresh, we will see that it didn't update. We have the same problem. The template didn't link. It literally duplicates the, the content of it. And if we need to make changes to it, we need to come back to each section and make those changes like five times. So this is Elementor's design. It's why I don't like Elementor. And I discovered that this exact same approach did end up working in Breakdance. And I'm going to show you that now. So if we switch over to Breakdance, it has a feature called Global Blocks, which is like Elementor's saved templates. I'm going to go ahead and add a global block. We're going to call it contact section. Then I'm going to pick a template to import from the themes. So we edit this in breakdance and then we're going to add from the library and we're going to add uh, element demos from the design sets and I'm going to search for contact. 
uh, actually a form, I think forms. So here we go. We've got a form. I'm going to use this one, add it to page and save it. So now we have a global block that has a contact form embedded in it. And if you go to check here, this is a breakdance built in form. This is not gravity forms or WS forms. This is breakdance form built in. And I'm going to delete it and I need to add a more flexible form. And so we're going to add the form builder in here. And we've got name and email and message. And so that's fine for now. Now we're going to head over to a page I made. I need to reload this because I made some changes. And now we're going to add the global block. So on the page, so this would be like a website page. We're going to add the global block. And so I choose the block from my drop down, and it embeds it, or it, it brings in the, the template. Basically the same way like Elementor did. So here is the question. If I edit the global block, will that change replicate to the page? So if I make another page and embed the same section on it, will it replicate across the whole site and save me this hassle of, of managing things centrally? So let's go and find out. Um, here, I'm going to add a phone number field into my template of the global block. Wow, I cannot type. There we go. I'm gonna move it up above the message and I will save this change. Now I'm going to reload the page where we're on the actual page and you will see that the phone number did in fact update. I had to still uh, load it from another demo, so it didn't actually show you what you want it to see. So I'm going to show this one more time. I'm going to edit this in breakdance, and we're going to add um, the global block to a second page. And we'll pick the contact section, save it, and then we'll preview it. So now we have two, two pages here where they are showing the global block template. So let's just sanity check this one more time. I'm going to um, change the text. We're happy to help. Please reach out. And we're going to delete the phone message field again, or the phone field and save this template. And then we're going to reload this one more time. And you will see that using global component or global blocks and breakdance lets us centrally manage the contact form inside of here. And we don't need a form plugin. You'll see I have gravity forms installed here, but we don't need it. And therefore breakdance lets us actually get rid of another plugin. And that's a big deal. So I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helps grow my channel and we'll see you in the next one.